hello it's been a while since i've done like a regular reading vlog and i just out of nowhere got this desire to film a 72 hour reading vlog so i'm just gonna do it and basically the story is that i'm alone this weekend my boyfriend is on a golf trip so and I have Friday off, so I have all weekend to myself, and I don't really have any other plans. Um, I, I mean, I'm probably gonna go down to like the pool and the beach, but I can read at those places and like work out and like sleep and like watch videos, but that's about it. So, like, I mostly wanna read. I have not had the desire to have a full reading weekend in such a long time, like, literally, such a long time. So, I'm gonna take advantage of this while I can. Right now, I'm reading The Faithless Hawk by Margaret Owen. This is the sequel to The Merciful Crow, and I'm just really excited for it. I really love the world, and Fee Fi is such like a fierce character. Um, all these different casts have like different powers, and like the witches have stronger powers. It's a really uh, big commentary on classism and like divides like discrimination like that based on like what cast you're born into so i'm really looking forward to kind of seeing how that's more explored in the second one and i love the romance in this it's just so sweet so yeah i'm um i have a bit of a migraine right now which isn't good i don't normally get migraines a lot so i'm like kind of suffering so i'm trying to just read for like a little bit and then go lie down for a nap and then go back to reading and that's my plan so yeah it's gonna be a whole reading weekend i don't even know what else i want to read this weekend which is surprising like i usually have things lined up i'm gonna look at my august tbr i actually do need to film an august tbr which i'm probably gonna do later today but i'm gonna look at my august tbr and see like what i have upcoming and decide from that what i want to read and um probably pick out some like maybe like a manga and a graphic novel as well because those are like really good to you know boost what you're reading in like these kinds of vlogs but yeah i don't know i have not had any desire to read to make a vlog like this in such a long time and i'm happy that i do maybe just because i'm like totally relaxed the whole weekend i don't have much to do but i like feel motivated to do things i'm supposed to be getting my desk later so i can like make a montage of me setting that up and it's just gonna be a good time so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one well, what? No. So I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hello, vlog. I have Madison here. She just left for a second. There she <laughs> is. And we're going to go book shopping today. Yay! So I've been meaning to buy a bunch of books and I've just had the urge. And so we're going to pick stuff out. And as I've been saying, I've been more selective with my book buying. So let's see. The things that I like know I need. Are um, a good start. So I want to get Bone Criers because I loved it and I don't have a finished copy. Oh, you didn't have one. Yeah, I meant to buy it and then I just never did, but like I have been meaning to, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, and then I need Blood and Honey. All my like pre orders I have to do. Serpent and Dove was good. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I love how all the black books from last year are now getting like um bright bright like red covers like Blood and Honey and also As the Shadow Rises which is the sequel to Oh yeah. Um Where there were color darkness. Yes. <laughs> Where are you ordering from? Amazon. Oh the Six of Crows meets Graceling with a dash of winter is coming. It's a really cool description. Unique. I like it. You don't faithless hawk, but you're not because you love the. Um, I'm gonna see like how I feel about it when it ends, but uh, for it's not gonna be like one that I get right now just because I have the art already. Yeah, I pre-ordered it from um, a specific place that she's signing out with exclusive mm -hmm. cards because yeah, I'm not overfull. <laughs> oh, I want to get the Bridge Kingdom at one point. Uh, did you see the new cover for? Bone season. Oh, the newest one, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like a series that I need to read. Yeah. Oh, I also got um, what's it called? A blood like from Blood and Ash. This one is new. Oh, you bought that? I I got it on Kindle. I oh, bought okay. it on Kindle. I bought it on Kindle, I think, because it was like cheap. 
Yeah, it was six bucks on Kindle. So I said I would read it. And if it's like a new favorite, I'll... Oh, I, I never buy anything for more than like five dollars on Kindle. Yeah, <laughs> I not worth it. But it was, it was cheap, so I'm like, let me just like check it out because it seems cool. And I'm trying to like get myself out of the mindset that I can't read fantasy on a Kindle. Because then that's only going to be expensive for me in the long run. And I'm trying to be good about my things. Oh, I need Lightbringer. I don't know if that one's up for pre-order yet. Why can't I just add it to my cart? Oh, is it just letting you on the like click pre-order now thing? Yeah. I don't get why it does that sometimes. It's so annoying. Yeah. I just want... Oh, <laughs> Kingdom of the Wicked. Yeah. I'm basically just pre-ordering. Oh, shit. I totally... I just remember that I ordered it. I got the vegan book box on a bag. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> but I need to still, I still need to go on um, Barnes & Noble in order to be... Yes, I, okay, I have card. a Barnes & Noble gift card. Yeah, so that and then the fuck of the air book. Yes, I need to get that. Let me go grab the Barnes & Noble gift card. Oh. Yeah! <sighs> I think I'm doing all my book ordering for like the rest of the year. <laughs> But Amazon doesn't charge until it ships out, right? No, which is interesting. Because sometimes the plight, the, the price will fluctuate. Yeah, that's why they do a best price guarantee. Yeah, it's kind of nice though, because then you don't have to pay for it until it ships. But then if you like forgot that you ordered it, and then you're like, why am I being charged all this money? You're like, what? I happen to have a gift card from my birthday, and I haven't ordered anything from Barnes & Noble. I feel like two books are gonna end up using most of my gift card. That being an end, yeah, literally, I can't even. Pre-order the exclusive edition. Continue shopping, thank you. Um, Holly. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna King of Elfheim. Oh, why is it so So excited for it. But I'm still going to buy it. Pre-order November 24th. Think what was the next one I was going to do? Vicious Spirits. Yes. Okay. Oh, and I need Wicked Fox. So I'm going to buy a new copy of Wicked Fox so it will match the height of Vicious Spirits. Because I have to uh, the month one. And I'll s I'm going to send Wicked Fox to Isabella. Oh, that's cute. I'm so generous. I <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on camera. Oh, it's coming out soon. Oh. Mm, a lot of things coming out in the next month, I would say. Yeah, 36 for two books. So we have Vicious Spirits, Wicked Fox, How the Kingdom of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories, Kingdom of the Wicked, Lightbringer, As the Shadow Rises, Blood and Honey, Boat Crier's Moon. Sounds like a pretty decent haul of books. I think that's all I really wanted, but I could be inclined to buy Yeah, it sounds pretty accurate. Let's see. Unless, were there any new books you wanted to get, or? Yeah, that's like what I'm thinking of, like what I wanted. Oh, um, Lost Book of the White. As well. Oh yeah. The pre-order price is $20. Oh, The Invisible Life of Addy LaRue. Oh yeah, we're just literally just talking about that. Let me check out my Amazon and see what pre-orders it recommends for me. Ah, you turned on the... $24. That hurts my soul, but I'll do it for B.E. Schwab. See, now that's what I... Yeah, Why expect. is a hardcover $35? It's just weird. Because it's adult, isn't it? Yeah, but like it shouldn't even be out in paperback. Paperback is $35, sorry. Oh, sometimes they accidentally put it... Right. Like, yeah. Like it shouldn't even exist. Like, I was looking at something else the other day, it did the same thing, where I was like, here is the... Oh, did I want uh, Deadly Education as well? Oh, I'm getting that in my liver crate. <laughs> There's a couple that come out in November that I'm... Oh, no, October that I'm interested in, but I'm not sure if they're on your... What? Which ones? Radar. Um, Among the Beasts and Brides by Ashley Poston. I have an arc of that one. Yeah, A Golden Fury by Samantha Coho. I also have an arc. The did you do the arcs? Yeah, see, that's not my cup of tea. I'm trying to convert. <laughs> the sequel to Kingdom of Sea and Stone comes out. 
Well, you mean I Cloud of Coral? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I asked them for the E-Arc. I read the first one digitally, too. It was fine. Oh, yeah, you did. Um, these Violent Delights comes out in November. I got an arc of them. <laughs> Why are you doing all these eocs? I just am on Neck Alley a lot. I just don't like to read fantasy on my Kindle. Well, I'm converting. Well, good for you. <laughs> if I don't like it, I can switch back, but I just like I'm trying a new lifestyle. Oh, the fourth book in Ember and Ashes comes out in December. Yeah, I feel like I don't need to pre-order that yet. It's a long way off. So, book shopping is complete for now and thankfully Amazon doesn't charge you until the title is released so I don't even worry about that because it's a lot of money but this is basically all I'm buying for the rest of the year so yeah. I'm okay with that. So I got A Deadly Education, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, those two I might end up buying special editions of, I don't know, Vicious Spirits and Wicked Vox, um, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories, Kingdom of the Wicked, Lightbringer, As the Shadow Rises, Blood and Honey, and Book Choir's Moon. So I'm feeling good about that. That's only a few titles to add to my shelves. And then their special edition counterparts. And um, I was going to exit out of Barnes & Noble website. That was so funny. Anyways, thanks for watching this clip. And yeah, let's get a thumbnail. Are you ready? Yeah. It's 3.30 a.m. and I should be going to bed. But um, I can't stop reading this. Wow, um, I have 100 pages left, 200 and, well, 283 of 385, but like the way the plot thickens in the second book is so good and we get such like a better intricate like view of the world and I actually kind of like where the romance is going even though it's like very angsty at this point, but like I'm like really impressed with the direction it's taken because after the first one I thought that like Things were kind of resolved and that I didn't know like where it was going to go, but I'm, I really am enjoying this. I really think it's so good and like, I don't know, man, I just have a, a little love for this series in my heart and oh my god, it's so late. I really need to go to sleep. I just couldn't stop reading. I'm going to wake up in the morning and continue to read as this is my reading weekend and I have my next read picked out and I'm going to be reading House of Salt and Sorrows because I want something that's like fantasy-ish but also like horror thriller-ish which I've heard that this book is and then I think I'm going to pick out maybe like a smut book to try and read after or like in between and then maybe a manga and then be like three to four books this weekend but even honestly even just reading two books this weekend would be an accomplishment for me because it's been so long since I've even done that. So, yeah, that's my update for now. Hello, so it's now Saturday and I finished my first book of the weekend. I mean, it's only three day weekend, so it's not like I was gonna get super too many books done reading, but I'm really excited that I finished this one. It's already 5 p.m. I didn't start reading today until like four because I woke up late and then I worked out and then I just like laid in bed for a bit after I showered and then I read. So yes, I read The Faithless Hawk and I love this. I think I love this more than the other one, which it's crazy because um, I really love The Merciful Crow, but this one just went so much more into like the lore and the world building and I really love the way that it overall worked out. It was just really interesting the way that the world building was done and the way that it resolved i thought it was really cool and really well done i just love when there's like a mystery about some sort of mythology and then you figure out how it works and it's really cool like this book was definitely more heavy on like the mythology of the world and like how it works but i really just thought that the um play out was really good and i still really love the romance in this too like it was i don't know it was just awesome and i love their romance like ugh pull the heart strings, you know? So yeah, this book is getting five stars. So um, what I'm doing right now, I do need to write these two reviews. I don't know if I'm gonna do it right at this very second because I do need to clean my apartment because I've been putting that off. I actually was gonna go to the beach today to read, but it's like not nice weather out, so I'm not gonna do that. So next, I'm going to start 
House of Salt and Sorrows. And this one is like based on 12 dancing princesses, right? And it's Adelaide lives a sheltered life at Highmore, a manor by the sea. Yeah, and then they start dying. And then Adelaide is disturbed by a series of ghostly visions. So like of the opinion of my friends, like I know people that love this. So this is like Keely's favorite book of 20... 19 and maddie like didn't like this book so i'm curious to see what i think of it but like since i've been getting more into like the horror genre and this seems like a horror type YA fantasy i think i could like really dig it so also i didn't talk about mexican gothic enough i talked about it i was reading in my moving vlog but i haven't edited my moving vlog together i want to just do probably one last clip about it um, before I post it, which is just gonna be like once my apartment is a little bit cleaner doing like a little tour of it That requires me to clean my apartment and oh did I say I was gonna build a desk yesterday because I got it delivered To my old apartment, but thankfully I still have the keys so my friend is gonna drive me there and we're gonna pick up the desk and Call it a day honestly So it's now Saturday at like 1.30 a.m. Um, I did have to go into work for a few hours tonight, um, just an extra shift. And it ended up taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to, so I got home later than I anticipated in my plan for the day. But I do want to read like 50 pages, I think, before I just give up and watch youtube videos and then go to bed um it is saturday night though so i'll probably be up late and i wanted to read yona of the dawn volume four but i think I, it's like gonna be either yona or the book and i really want to read the book more so yona can happen tomorrow but i want to start house of salt and sorrow and i have on an ocean asmr room and it just feels like the perfect vibe so i'm going to continue to that would probably be pretty sleepy because I think the ocean is very soothing. I've gotten as far as I could, but I already finished one book. Like, I've been reading so slowly these past few months, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just not. I just wasn't in the mindset to be reading like I used to, and it's okay if that like wavers, but I just am excited about reading again. And I like got home from work, and I even though I was tired after I ate some food and like rejuvenated, like I just, I want to read, like that's like what I'm in the mood for. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read my book and I'm excited to have the oceany vibes and like it just feels like a good time for this book because I'm in the mood for exactly what it is, which is why, I mean, it's pretty much like a mood read where I just picked it off the shelf and said, I'm going to read you. And I do have some tabs, so, okay. I mean to make an annotation video for like how long have I been on booktube like two years and I started annotating like a year and a half ago so probably like a year and I just haven't I haven't yet but I will eventually but anyways because I'm in the mindset that like if I don't like a book that I won't hold on to it I don't want to actually write in a book unless I know that I like 100% love it so I'm going to tab, but not underline, um, which is how I started annotating. So yeah, and that's kind of how I also do arcs as well, like advanced reader copies, because those I, if I like a book enough, I typically will trans, like when I get a finished copy, I'll transfer my tabs over to the finished copy. And then I'll like, underline but usually arcs i feel like they just like kind of get passed around the community from person to person like you can trade them i usually just give them to friends because if i like it enough to buy a finished copy then i don't need to hold on to the arc unless it's something like a collector's item and if not if i didn't feel the need to buy a finished copy i usually won't feel the need to hold on to the arc either so this is my new mindset of i cannot own every book that I've ever read. Yeah, all right. Time to read to the sounds of the ocean.
Look, I have freckles. They're finally coming out because I got a sunburn, so like it's it's sun damage. It's not. It's probably not. But I do like having freckles. Hello vlog. So it's Sunday and it's 5 p.m. and my 72 hour readathon and I haven't started reading today. But that's just how it goes. I like woke up at like 12 and because I was up late last night reading and I've just been doing other stuff. I just finished filming a TBR video so that's kind of what just took up my time and I, I'm gonna edit it tonight so that's gonna take up some time. But, but it's fine. It's fine. So, uh, yeah, I have not read any more since last night, and last night I, um, got to page 25 of House of Salt and Sorrows. But you know what? I don't need to finish this today, but I want to get a good chunk in, and I do want to read Yona, and then, like, I feel like I'll be good for the day, and I'll be, like, happy with what I read in a weekend. Because it's been so long since I've, like, even read that much in a weekend, like, more than one book. You yeah. know. So, that's the update. Really, that's all. Peace. Hello, it's late Sunday night and this is going to be my last clip. But as a final update, I was reading more of House of Salt and Sorrows and I got to page 104, which is pretty good. It's only a quarter of the way into the book and I thought I would be like, wow, I'm going to finish it. But of course, I overestimated my abilities as I usually do when I do these kinds of things. But honestly, I'm not mad. I'm really enjoying the vibe so far. It's really just what I want which is like a creepy kind of like vibe and Annalie is starting to see like more ghosts and like creepy visions as promised in the description and it just is so creepy every time it happens and I like love the creepy stuff. I'm reading Yona of the Dawn volume 4 and it just keeps getting better. I'm really in love with this series like I feel like it's a really good manga for me um just because I love like the adventure but also the cutesy romance like my ship in here like we have some cute moments and like let me just show you this one panel that I like died at. It's like concerned about her safety and I just like the pine the pining but like they don't know that they like each other and I just I died because when that kind of stuff happens between characters, I just die. So yeah, I'm really excited about this series. I'm gonna pick up and you know buy the next two. You know what? Where's my phone? Oh, I don't know where my phone is, but I was gonna, just gonna order the next two. <laughs> Speaking of ordering things, <laughs> I got an Amazon package. You may remember earlier in this vlog that I ordered some books. Well, some of them are here. Not all of them though, because um, most of them were pre-orders, honestly. I kind of forgot which of them were the ones that were already out that I bought. So let's get to it. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, I love book. It's been, honestly, so long since I got book mail. Cause, like, there was a point in time where I was just, like, buying books willy-nilly, and I had so many, and yes. But now I am more selective, so that means less book mail, which is sad, but it's okay. okay. So... The first book that I bought is Bone Criers Moon, which was one of my favorite books I think so far I've read so far this year if I'm thinking about like all the books that I've read. I honestly really adored this one. So it's been months and I'm still thinking about it. So that's why I was like, well, I should buy it. And then the next book that I bought is Wicked Fox, which again, I have my book of the month copy, but because Vicious Spirit is coming out and I want them, to match in height it was gonna really bother me if they didn't i bought this copy and you know what my annotated copy is going to go to a friend and it will be a good time so i don't like feel bad about it because it's gonna go to a good home and also i got rid of so many books that um it's fine and it's basically like a one-to-one -one replacement you know and vicious spirits is coming out on tuesday and i can't wait but yeah um wow the serotonin <sighs> Oh, tired. the serotonin of this book mail is fantastic, and I can't wait until all my pre-orders roll in. I mean, that's basically all I needed to order for the rest of the year, so I probably won't be ordering that many more books, although I may be ordering more manga if my obsession with Yona and the Dog continues, so. Yeah, I'm just really excited about these books, and I gotta find places on my bookshelf for them, and I just, overall, I love books, I love reading, I'm so happy that I'm in such a better mood than I'm so excited. I really 
really loved it. One of the best enemies to lovers. And then this one is based on a K-drama and I just, I don't know, I was talking about Vicious Spirits today in my TBR that I filmed and I was like, I really need to get on watching more K-dramas because I have not really watched any, like I started a Taiwan class and me and my boyfriend are like six or seven episodes in it and it's so good and I just like have not been in the mood to watch TV but now I'm like getting the itch to finish a Taiwan class because I know it's fantastic and I don't want to just like abandon the show completely. I need to go to bed. I'm really excited that I did this vlog for my long weekend. Um, it was really fun to try and read as much as possible this weekend even if today I kind of got like a little distracted and didn't read as much. I still finished the whole manga and I read like 75 pages of my book so that's like pretty solid and I edited a whole video so you know I did stuff it's fine and but yeah I think the thing that I was most excited about is that I just like got back into vlogging and making this vlog and I kind of like these short form vlogs where I just like take the weekend and vlog instead of like I don't know it, it was just a different format for me and it's fun because then I like think of things that I can do for the vlog during the weekend and then I don't have to like worry about it into the week so we'll see how I feel about vlogging in the upcoming like future i think for me it's not going to be a thing that i'm like constantly vlogging but i do just like love vlogs so much that i like would like to but it just depends and my camera just died <laughs>